J.C. Latham. J.C. Latham is the offensive lineman committed to uh, Alabama from IMG Academy. Miami kicked the tires, but uh, like most elite prospects, he said, thank you, but I'm going to take my talents elsewhere. Then we also have Terrence Lewis. Terrence Lewis, the the transfer king of this year, the uh, the divine, uh, was it Devonair Clarington Memorial, most transfers in this recruiting class guy, was at Miami Central, went to Chaminade, parted ways with Chaminade, went back to Northwestern. Now he's at Miami Central, five star guy, recruited, uh, committed to Tennessee. Is a is close friends with James Williams, who's committed to Miami. They've talked about playing together in college, so Miami is. Communicating with him might try to work a flip. Um, he may or may not uh, do that. You know, it might be one of those situations, and we've seen that with some other guys where, you know, maybe getting out of South Florida would be the best thing for him. But uh, he is a very talented kid. I do think that there might be some um, off the field things to consider, um, like with some other guys from down here in uh, other recruiting classes. Um, and I think that. I'm not going to tell you how to feel about it, but uh, you as recruiting fan and you as prospective team have to decide if the juice is worth the squeeze, if the player is worth the baggage. I can't tell you. Dallas Turner. Dallas Turner, uh, St. Thomas Aquinas. He's going to Alabama. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm taking my talents to the SEC. See you. Mario Williams. Mario Williams, wide, the wide receiver from Plant City? Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's a guy that Miami contacted earlier, uh, like as a high school sophomore going into his junior year. Um, but he's another guy. Is he going to Alabama now? Uh, Oklahoma. Or, Oklahoma. Okay, yeah, he's the yeah the Hollywood Brown kid. So yeah, he's a, he's a fast kid. He's like six feet tall, give or take. I want to say, uh, but he's a speedy wide receiver, uh, and he's going to follow that path like Hollywood Brown, who went to Chaminade, which is in the city of Hollywood, Florida. Um, and he went to JUCO, and everybody was like, oh, that's Hollywood, Hollywood, and that's where the nickname came from. But, uh, yeah, Mario Williams is a similar type of dude. Uh, he's a big-time player. He's definitely a power five receiver, but he's going to uh, uh, Oklahoma. Excuse me. So, Xavier Sori athlete, Bradenton, Florida, IMG is still out there. Yeah, he's not a Florida native, I don't think, and that's okay. the tricky thing with IMG Academy. Unless you remember where these guys are from or, like, you know, you can go on to their 247 profiles and says, okay, they're at IMG, but where were they previously? Yeah. Um, you know, it's not a thing, you know, and that's the thing that like Bud Elliott has been talking about for years. Like IMG Academy kids go to school in Florida, but they're not necessarily Floridians, you know, in terms of recruitment. A lot of these guys go back to their home areas of the country for, uh, for college. I'm not sure where stories from. Okay. I'm not going to look into it. Yeah. I, or I may while you're commenting on somebody else. Uh, do you know where JJ McCarthy is? He's another IMG Academy commit to Michigan. JJ McCarthy, um, he's a quarterback. He's from Colorado yeah. or okay. something like that. But, and yeah, he was committed to Michigan from there and then uh, took his talents down there. But he's not, he, I know for a fact McCarthy's not a Floridian. Uh, he's a transplant. Um, you know, and it's, it's very similar to uh, the kids who go to, um, Oak Hill Academy for basketball, you know, up yep. there in the DMV area. Uh, yeah, they just go, they come from wherever, you know, it's an elite, uh, you know, boarding school, uh, you know, basically football or sports factory uh, kind of thing, uh, you know, prep school specifically designed for that. Uh, and then they go elsewhere, uh, you know, for college. So, I mean, yeah, they, they do that and they live in, you know, at the IMG Academy and they do the things like that. But again, uh, a lot of them are not actually Floridians. James Williams coming to, to uh, Miami. Uh, Absolutely. Jason Marshall, cornerback Miami Palmetto, going to Florida. Five-star cornerback. Everybody's All-American. Uh, told the staff that he was coming um, earlier this year, um, but basically was pretty strong on, like, don't let that out and everything. And they started tweeting about it, and then it got out. Uh, and then that was, you know, one of the, you know, Manny Diaz, wait for it or something good's about to happen tweets. Um, and then that actually uh, – pissed in the punch as it were. Uh, and then he uh, went to Florida. Now some people are going to say, okay, he pimped Miami for an extra bag from Florida, or he actually pimped Miami to get the offer that he wanted. I don't believe that. I, I firmly believe from everything that I've seen and heard that he was coming to Miami and then basically we blew that. So 
Uh, based on the bio, Ja'Cory Brooks actually is from Bradenton and also IMG Academy, if I've got that correct. No, nope. That's that's okay. a lie. Ja'Cory Brooks is from the city. He went to Booker T. Washington for three years. Um, number one wide receiver, uh, you know, potential. Uh, but, yeah, he played, like, <clears throat> you know, yeah, in – I mean, over town, he lived like down at the bottom. You know what I mean? Like he, he went to Booker T, uh, but, and then he transferred over there. Uh, so that's a mislisting by ESPN. He's a Miami kid uh, and he's the latest South Florida wide receiver. Who's going to take his talents to Alabama um, because, you know, yeah. I'll probably butcher the first name. A-G-I-Y-E Hall. Ajay Hall from Tampa. Uh, yeah. The, uh, don't tell me. Um, it's a blue team. Armwood, Sefner Armwood. Uh, where's he going? He's going to Alabama. Ajay Hall is going to Alabama. That's right. He was the first one of those dudes. He's a he's a monster. Um, if he gets his head right and everything, he's one of the most explosive wide receivers around. Uh, but Sefner Armwood, that's a program that Miami has really struggled to get any foothold recruiting from. Uh, it's one of the best programs in the state of Florida. They uh, they run a really, really good high school football program over there. They've competed for it and won uh, state championships. Uh, that's a that's a school name that you should know. Uh, in turn, And they've had lots of top-level recruits as well. Uh, Armwood has. But, yeah, he's going to Alabama. Bryce Langston from Ocala is still on a list. Uh, Bryce Langston. Not committed. Ocala Vanguard, right? Yes. That's the school at one at, uh, at which Nicosi Perry once starred. Bryce Langston was committed to Florida. Miami was also recruiting him for a while. Um, and then he committed to Florida and everything. He is a defensive lineman who is out there on the board. I'm not sure that uh, Miami's realistically an option for him, uh, but he is a power five kind of a guy. So you could see him maybe going back to Florida or another SEC team. So we're around uh, number 63 in the country, but we've got a comment here. Have you looked at the uh, 2022 class? James Scott is asking about Shamar Stewart. I have not looked exclusive, extensively at the 2022 class. But if you start at the top, the number one player in America, Shamar Stewart. I mean, he's a, he's a monster. He's been this size for years. I mean, he was a freshman at pace, and he was already 6'5", 210 pounds as a defensive end. I mean, he's going to be – I mean, he's just – yeah, he's like that. He's going to be a top 5, 10 player in this class uh, coming up. He's already, you know, 6'5", 6'6", 230 pounds. I mean, and probably getting a little bit bigger by, you know, by the day. This is a kid um, who's destined for an NFL roster as long as he doesn't mess around or get injured. Um, there's not much to say like, okay, well, here's my take on Shamar Stewart. Da, da, da. My take on Shamar Stewart is he's a massive, massive player, and he's incredible at football. Brandon Jennings is going all the way up to Michigan from Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah, his brother's on our roster, Bradley Jennings Jr., uh, number 44. His father, Bradley Jennings, is from Miami but went to Florida State back in the 90s. Uh, and then, um, like Devin Bush, whose father played at Florida State, and then uh, he went to high school down here at Flanagan, uh, which is its own thing, but whatever. Uh, he went to Michigan, and so too uh, is uh, the younger Jennings brother, who I believe is the higher ceiling prospect uh, uh, between the two brothers of uh, in that family. But yeah, he uh, he was committed to Florida State, dropped them, and then flipped to Michigan either that same day or the day after, uh, a couple, a few weeks ago. Uh, but yeah, he's going up to Big Ten country uh, to play for Big Blue. Few more to close out the top one hundred. <laughs> Athlete Kristen Leary from Edgewater High School in Orlando. One of the fastest, yeah, one of the fastest players that you'll see in America. Um, he's he's one of he's like a Amalek Curtis, uh, but a little bit faster, like a Brashard Smith, but a little bit bigger and similar kind of speed. Uh, just looks like he's playing fast forward. Um, you know, you, you can't teach that kind of speed. Uh, you know, and there, there's a handful of dudes in America who can run that fast uh, and play that well. Um, and yeah, Leary is a, near the top of that list, and he's going to Alabama. I actually, that uh, name should have caught uh, my attention because I had an Alabama guy on last night, and I asked him about the most exciting guy in their 2021 class, and bam, that's who we went with. <laughs> Thanks. Cade Denhoff, uh, going from Lakeland Christian High School, defensive end to Clemson. Yeah, not the super high-end uh, talent that uh, Clemson gets. 
uh, all of the time, but he's a solid four-star guy. Um, he's not really a guy that's been on Miami's radar, so I didn't really look into him too much. It, it seemed to me early on that he was going elsewhere. Uh, but yeah. Corey Collier got away, Miami Palmetto, to the University of Florida. Corey Collier, who's a Florida State legacy, his father of the same name, played at Florida State. Teammates in the secondary with Jason Marshall at Palmetto. Also teammates with Brashard Smith, Leonard Taylor, and Savion Collins in the Palmetto Five that we've talked about, we've written about, and things like that. Uh, and yeah, and he's going to uh, Florida. Uh, so the two of them are in the secondary uh, from Palmetto are going up there, while the other three currently are committed to Miami. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a solid BB+. Plus. For Miami right now, getting three of those five, uh, you know, the home run would get to would have been to get you know any four of those five, uh, and you know I think that Miami fumbled the bag by letting uh, you know Marshall get away from uh, where things were. But yeah, you know you got Car Collier and Marshall going up there because Florida recruits defensive backs uh, unlike anyone else. Uh, and then yeah, Pat Payton. See, you know Dennis Lopez, you might be right. Uh, Patrick Payton. Uh, defensive end from Miami Northwestern is having a breakout senior season. He actually uh, was one of the highest risers in 247's re-rankings. He went from a mid three star to a solid four star uh, level prospect. He's a, he's really getting after it off the edge, uh, you know, and everything. So he's a he's a guy that you know Miami could go get. Uh, you know, he's committed to Nebraska right now uh, with his play and everything. I think that he's played himself off of their like out of their stratosphere. Uh, to be perfectly honest, um, whether that's Miami or whether that's elsewhere, uh, it remains to be seen. But Patrick Payton does seem like he's a guy that, uh, you know, if you're trying to say, OK, we're trying to keep some of the best guys from, uh, you know, South Florida around, uh, he has to be in the conversation. The thing about it is spots are limited. So, you know, did you drop Tim Burns to take Payton from the same school? You know, excuse me. Um so you'd have, you know, three or four dudes from Northwestern, but the three or four dudes would then have changed because obviously you dropped Burns and uh, the other one, somebody else. They dropped from there already. Um, and then uh, you get uh, Patrick Payton in that class uh, with Brinson, the tight end, and Cam Kenshins. Um, Khalil Brantley, sorry. Um yeah, uh, it's just uh, we'll, we'll see what the, the numbers are looking like. And, hey, you know, maybe the NCAA says every team can bring in 25 or 30 this year because, you know, coronavirus, uh, which is a you know, ongoing thing. P.S., by the way, uh, the NCAA just extended the dead period till April, till tax day, April 15th. So it will be, I think, 13 or 14 months of a dead period. So this entire cycle will have existed in a dead period, you know, and then some. Uh, which is crazy, but I mean, like, what are you gonna do? Like, you you gotta you gotta do something. You know, you can't just say, okay, campuses are open for people to go to uh, and everything. Which it's, it's uh, yeah, you know. So 